Hello everybody, it is I, YouTube Cool, back again, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Rusty's Racing Center McQueen and Cruise with Sand, or the Sandy versions. Uh, these guys were only released in a Target 4-pack, uh, because in 2017, anything related to the Rusty's Racing Center McQueen was Target exclusive. Very interesting choice, especially given that he's the main McQueen of the movie. He spends most of his time in that paint job. Like, I'd say, like, almost half the movie is spent looking like that for McQueen. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Um, the pack was full of exclusive diecasts that haven't been re-released since, including a Guido with tool cart and a Luigi with checkered flag, very similar to the 2006 teaser trailer of Cars. Unfortunately, I didn't get those two. I only have these two. And um, they're in a bit of a bad condition, but they came in a lot with uh, Dud Throttleman. So I didn't really care. It, it was more cars to add to the collection. I'm content. Uh, I held off from reviewing these guys for a while. I haven't had any new cars to review in a while, so I just didn't make videos for a while. I'm very sorry it's been so long since the last video. I'm really hoping... Uh, that this is where it makes up for it. Now, um, these variants are pretty much identical to their normal variants. Um, I'm reviewing them both together because they're not very interesting, although I will note that this is the first time I ever had the Racing Center McQueen paint job in diecast form. I have not had this guy, and he is, like, the most notable missing McQueen in my collection currently. Um, still hoping to get a normal one, but for now, this will do, and I'm just content with that. I'm going to start with Cruise because she's easily the most boring part. She's basically the same as your normal Cruise Ramirez, which is no longer on shelves for some reason. It's really weird to think that regular Cruise hasn't been out since, like, 2020. She's, like, a very significant character in her normal version. It's like a Dusty Crop Hopper situation. At least this one was actually released the year she actually, like, debuted. Uh, she has a less thick eyeliner, which I don't like. I much prefer the thicker eyeliner. It looks a lot more accurate to what Cruz is supposed to look like. Uh, she has her sandy tires. Uh, very cartoony sand detailing. Very similar to the detailing on a Roscoe die cast. Uh, also discontinued. Very interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, pretty much uh, the same details. Although, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, she's missing this piece right here, you see? Her wheels are just hollow on this one. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Uh, yeah, so pretty much just a chipped up version of a normal Cruise Ramirez die cast. Nothing much to say here. She just kind of exists, I guess. She, she's a thing. Go back. Now on to the piece de resistance. McQueen. Something I like about McQueen is that he has the light year text still on, on him, just barely readable. I've heard people complain about these uh, cars for having really over-the-top sand detailing, and then a few, uh, a year later, I believe, um, they created this line called the Firebolt Beach Racers, which basically was these two cars done right, with more of an overspray effect to better suit the needs of, you know, looking like they've been driving on sand, whereas this doesn't look like that at all. Um, I didn't, I didn't mention where they appeared in the movie, but... These two appear when they are training on the old Fireball Beach outside of the Rusty's Racing Center headquarters. Uh, yeah, so they spend, like, all day. It's a very good scene. It's a really great scene. I'm really happy to at least have the die cast represent that. Yeah, this McQueen's chips. His wheels are bent. I think he's probably in worse condition than Cruz. Uh, this, this is a Made in China die cast, so... It looks very smooth and metallic. I can't wait to get a Thailand version of this guy, though. Maybe in the Vietnam one. I'm pretty sure there's a Vietnam one out there. I'm not sure. I've heard the foil is, like, really bad on other countries. The Rusty's text is barely readable here. It's supposed to say Rusty's on the side. This isn't actually a paint job. This is a wrap that McQueen puts on himself. But, yeah. Pretty... Pretty basic, just... Yeah, yeah. Um, just your standard. Yeah, both of them reuse the expressions of their normal variants, too, so there's not even, like, new expressions or anything. But I think, for what they are, 
being fun little bonuses in a multi-pack, being cars that were never re-released since that multi-pack, I think they're nice. I think they're neat. I don't, re I don't recommend buying them, though. I don't think they're worth it. Just get the regular versions if you can, and then just play outside, as you should. These are toys. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys around. Bye-bye.